Hey, it's Carrie Flatla here for this week's Friday Fire at Carrie Flatla and Associates and Remax Real Estate Lethbridge. So a couple of terms that get mixed up on the purchase contract quite often, especially if you're a first time home buyer or it's the first time you've ever listed and sold a house, is the condition date and the closing date. They're actually two very different things. One involves the movement of money in terms of selling the house and the other one is more to do with paperwork. So the condition date, which is specified further down the contract in section eight conditions, is to do with your financing condition, your home inspection condition, sale of home condition, perhaps the seller has a condition on the offer because they need to find a home. Those all have strict deadlines specified in the contract. That deadline is when that contingency has to be waived by the buyer or the seller. So for example, if you have a financing condition deadline for tonight, June 18th at 9 p.m., that means as the buyer, you must sign and send a waiver of financing condition over to the seller before nine o'clock tonight. Usually that's by way of your realtors, the two realtors that are involved. If that condition is not waived by the condition deadline to the minute, then the deal collapses and the contract falls apart. The sale does not go final. On the closing date, that is when the buyer pays the seller for the home. So the buyer and the seller have to meet all of their terms and conditions by then. And the bank has to send the money over to the lawyers. All those kinds of things have to happen. And if everybody does what they're supposed to do on time, then we can release keys to the buyer and they can take possession on closing day. Now there's a whole bunch of other things that can happen in there where the money doesn't move on time. The buyer can do a tenancy. There's lots and lots of moving parts, but just know that your condition date is when contingencies have to be removed by and your closing date is when the buyer pays the seller for the home and hopefully takes possession. If you have any questions about that process, you can call or text me anytime, 382-7335, or of course, you can visit us at carryflatla.com. We're only two weeks away from reopening in Alberta, so that's pretty exciting news for the weekend. We'll see you for next Friday Fire. Take care.